Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie and it is time for May's monthly favorites. How are we feeling? I hope your May was amazing. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I have some faves, duh. Okay, let me whip up my freaking Google Doc here. Oh yes, I um my friend came over and I redid her hair pink and she bleached just my roots and I'm also kind of trying to fade it out so I can like redo it probably similar but probably slightly different so that's why i'm like what why are my brows a normal ish color why am i so blonde what's going on here the green scrunch the green stripe do we like that's your hair update we got some fashion faves we got some anime slash media faves we got some lifestyle faves i'm gonna start off with fashion because this is <laughs> sometimes a fashion channel. It is finally summery here. Like today it's quite rainy. It can rain in summer, but the past week has been wonderful and sunny, bright blue skies and puffy clouds and all the dandelions are coming out. And oh my God, I love wildflowers. <gasps> Seeing a big, beautiful green field with yellow dandelions all up in it. And then the blue sky and the puffy clouds, like it evokes something within me. That just makes me feel like I'll never be sad again. I love summer, I love May, I love dandelions, I love my island, and um, yes. And with those sweet, sweet summer vibes come summer fashion. So my first fave is just jelly shoes in general. I love jelly shoes. Every summer, when summer rolls around, I'm pretty much just clomping around in jellies all the time. Unless I'm like going to something fancy, there's like some other sort of event, you will almost always find me in some jellies with some sort of cute sockage. And that's the fun part. The sock to jelly shoe combinations are endless. I love socks. I have happy birthday socks. I have these like stripy cute socks. Someone sent me socks with ducks. I get so many socks in my P.O. box and that makes them extra special because it's like socks full of love. I uploaded a picture to my Spamster the other day of hey combination of my favorite things happy p.o box socks pink jelly shoes and also dandelions hee <laughs> hee yeah i'm just really happy i'm such a freaking summer bean uh, i get asked this almost every time i mention or show jelly shoes all of my jelly shoes for the most part are from juju you can order online it's based in the uk they do ship internationally i'm pretty sure the shipping is kind of expensive, got, but I got these like last year or a couple years ago. I have these two pairs that are like the exact same cut. This one's a clear glitter and this one is blue. I like the ones with the heels more. I find the ones with the heels are a lot comfier um, than the one flat pair that I have, which is the pink pair. It's still comfy, but I think it runs big on me too. I got them all in a size eight, which is what I usually am. This is not interesting, but yeah, um, if you want to order from Juju, I recommend the heeled ones, they're actually comfier than the flat ones, and if you get a flat one, maybe size down, but don't quote me on that. And that fave segues quite nicely into another fave, which is very random, but I want to give these sweet, sweet sockies their own chance to shine. I got these in my freaking mailbox from a Sweet Confetti Club member and I opened it on the stream the other day and I just love them so much. They're so cute and juicy. I just love a patterned sock. These would look really cute with the clear ones. I just threw on the pink ones the other day. I don't think they go amazingly with those because it's like pink on pink, but like <gasps> imagine, ooh yes, fashion. Ooh, Versace, Donatella. The label on them said hot socks, like hot S-O-X, and I just, I love them so. They're a little dirty because I wore them yesterday, but ah, is this a random favorite? I really love these socks. Okay, this last fashion fave just came in the mail like four hours ago. So, I mean, if it spontaneously combusts later in the day, <laughs> I'll let you know, and I will like denounce it from my faves, but I ordered this amazing bag from Angelic Pretty. And I actually ordered this like a month ago or something. Something weird happened with Tenso. I've used Tenso, the forwarding service, like so many freaking times, but this time the package arrived there because my AP tracking was like, hey, your package arrived. And I didn't check for like 10 days after. And I was like, hey, that's weird. So I checked the tracking and I was like, what the hell? And then I emailed Tenso and I was like, 
hi, uh, my package says it's at your warehouse, but I haven't gotten a no notification or like any way to act upon it to pay for shipping from Tenso to me. And they never replied to my email, but then the next day I got the notification. So I was like, would have liked a response instead of you just, I don't know. They rectified the problem. I finally got my bag. Um, I like it a lot. It did come in pink and red as well, also black. Um, but I just think the blue was cute. I think I wear a lot of pink, so I think it'll go. And it's like a shaky shaker. I wanna give, Ooh. all my friggin' stuff is inside and like screaming. The inside is pink. The back has pokey dots. And I wanna give you a glitter appreciation post. Look how cute. We have some gold stars, we have some red hearts, some pink hearts. There's some holographic, like, silvery hearts. I love it. The sax blue and the red, it's an interesting combo, but I think I like it. I don't know if this counts more as, like, a lifestyle fave or if it goes under, like, anime slash media, but if you follow me on my Facebook page, you would know that my friends and I have started a cosplay type, dance type, f best friends sewing and having fun group. Um, and it's called Moon Mist Girls! Um, we called it Moon Mist Girls. Oh my god, we were trying to decide on a name for quite some time. Basically, Moon Mist Ice Cream is a classic East Coast Atlantic Canadian ice cream flavor. And since they're from New Brunswick and I'm from Prince Edward Island, we're like, what's something that represents all of us together that isn't just like, oh, we're best friends and we like anime. Like, yeah, we're all going to school together. We're all like moving out for the first time. We're all gonna be in the same town. And we were like, you know what? moon mist so like each of us represent a color of freaking moon mist ice cream and it's anyways it's gonna be really fun so if you want i'll leave the link down below we haven't been crazy active on it yet because we do still all live like three to four hours apart but uh the first con that we're doing as like a cosplay group is in a month's time and then a month after that we're all gonna be living in the same town together which is really fun and really terrifying but if you want to follow me and my best friends jenny and wendy on our cosplay dance Idaru fun time fashion school adventures check us out we also have an instagram segueing from moon mist to my next fave um we actually had a little like we all drove and met at a town that's kind of in between our towns and we had a little like practice dance boot camp training sesh for the con that's in a month when we were all there wendy also showed me this really cool j-pop group called wasuta or the world standard and i I'd known some of their songs beforehand because they did do the openings to... Is it just Idle Time pre -para? I think it's just Idle Time because it was Iris doing the openings and endings for like the pre the pre -para, pre para and then it was Wasuta. I actually didn't like the openings and endings to Idle Time that much, but then I got their freaking albums. Okay, some of my fave songs are definitely Choco Beam. It has a very long title, but I think it is commonly nicknamed Choco Beam. Um, it's just so funny and hilarious and the lyrics are so silly and like unnecessary and it's just really funny. I also really, 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 really love Zilly Zilly Love. I'm sure there's a better way to pronounce that, but it's like electro swing, J-pop, sassy lady, like lovesick woman. I love that song. There's also one song where they time travel and the first line is like, I really respect Bob Marley. I forget what that one's called, but that one's really good too. So yes, if you're looking for cute J-pop to get into, I definitely recommend Wasita. Thank you, sweet Wendy, for uh, spreading your J-pop knowledge with me. And my last weeby media anime fave is Aikatsu. I started watching Aikatsu to fill the giant prepara shaped hole in my heart and I like it. I do like it quite a bit. I don't like it as much as prepara, but that's like a really high bar to cross for me because prepara is just so hilarious. It's so silly. It's definitely meant for kids. I'm talking about prepara not aikatsu. Kind of both though. And it's just like the funniest thing I've ever freaking watched. And so to follow up with another similar anime in that it's like girls with rainbow hair trying to be idols 
it's good. It's definitely not as hilarious. I think I like the costume designs more in Aikatsu, but the animation, like the CGI, is so much worse. Oh my god. When you compare Prepara and like Pretty Cure End Song CGI to Aikatsu's CGI, Aikatsu has way more episodes, so maybe, I don't know, budget probably, but like, Aikatsu looks like Miku Miku Dance next to it. This is no hate, it's still on my favorites, but this is just like, the first thing I noticed was like, oh my god, is that really what they're gonna look like every time they perform? Anyway, no hate, still really enjoying Aikatsu. I would definitely not watch it after watching something with really, really good CGI. Okay, these next faves are not like tactile things or media things, but it's really been like a big impact on my life in the last month, so I feel like I should mention them, even though it might be boring, I hope not. But number one is that I have been cooking a lot. Something just like flicked a switch in my head and I was like, A, I wanna eat healthier, but I wanna eat like healthy things that taste good, that I have control over, and B, I wanna learn how to cook before I move out, like really learn how to cook. I, you know, like, I can make an omelet, I can make spaghetti, like, you know, I like easy things, but I'm like, you know, I want <laughs> binging with Babish, it's time to learn about sauces. So yeah, I've been teaching myself how to cook over the past probably like a month and a half to two months, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've made a couple recipes, I've made some soups, I made a stew, I've made the same pineapple chicken freaking bell pepper stir fry three times this month. I just made it again this morning. It tastes so good. I can't stop eating it. I also, <laughs> along the same line, I also decided I want to be a hostess extraordinaire and I got like a cocktail shaker and I was like, mm, all my friends are gonna come over to my house and we're gonna have like a potluck and I'm gonna serve them my delicious casserole and I'm gonna like shake up some margaritas and we're gonna like have fancy drinks and fancy glasses <laughs> in my like townhouse and I'm gonna have napkin rings and I'm gonna have like fabric napkins. <laughs> I felt this way for a couple months, but I don't know if I've explained it online. I have this vision now that I'm moving out. I have a vision that I'm just going to be like hostess extraordinaire. <laughs> so yeah, I've been cooking a lot, learning how to cook. I bought a cocktail shaker and tried to make margaritas and that didn't go too great. Another new thing in my life this month has been metal straws. Clink, clink, clink a dink. These things are awesome. There's no point in using single-use plastic straws whenever you can use these, or I think you can get bamboo straws too. And they're so easy to clean. Literally just like put it through, comes with a little pipe cleaner. And it actually is a more pleasant drinking experience. Like it feels more important. <laughs> it feels like, it kind of feels like I have a fork in my glass whenever I like hear it do that, which is not a bad thing. Like the coldness of your drink makes the metal cold and then the coldness of the straw makes the drink going through the straw cold. Like I feel like it makes the drink colder or at least placebo makes it feel like it's colder. There's just like, there's nothing wrong about these straws and I'm just, I don't know why I haven't used these my whole life. So like, yay, I think we got them on Amazon. Oh, also my cat likes to steal straws. Yeah, I'm talking about you. My cat Serena, one of her like main things that she's just weird about is stealing our plastic drinking straws. She will come over, it doesn't matter if you're drinking a smoothie or water or whatever the frig you're drinking, you have to be very careful about certain things. And she will come over and she will like bat bat and then take it in her mouth and then take it out and then just like walk off with it and drop it on the floor. She doesn't even wanna like chew it that much. She just wants to like bat it around and it's just, it's quite rude. It's really cute, but it's also like, stop. And we've been using these for a little while now and she has never stolen the metal straw. She will still drink my water out of my cup. However, she does not steal the straws. So Serena, the straw stealer, has been stumped by the stainless steel straw. S -s 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 Oh, I have one last fashion favorite that I forgot to mention, but I have been wearing these non-stop, and they are the coolest things, I think, in the world. These friggin' sunnies, you know, you've seen the heart-shaped sunglass around. We've seen it. It's been a thing. It is ancient. It is done. Still good. Nothing wrong with them, but like, you know, we know they're around. But these... <gasps> 
again, Wendy pointed them out to me and she was like, girl, look at those bad boys. So it is a heart-shaped Senny, but they have like this extended cat eye type thing. I just adore them so much. They're from a Canadian store and I just love them so freaking much. Oh my God, I feel cool as hell. Hi, strutting around town, boo boo. You know, riding around in my car, beep beep. Going to Michael's to get more craft supplies, beep beep. Yeah, I just, I love these. And even like some days, even if I don't think I'm gonna wear them because it's cloudy, you can put them on your forehead to tuck away the stray hairs. And like, I think this is a hashtag summer look. I think this is a, you know, riding in the convertible top down high, I'm here to like pick up my groceries. That was a weird, weird example. I just think they're cute. I love these. Yeah, this is a very summery favorite. I hope you enjoyed. This video's Fiji Confetti Club member is Sad Trash 101 on Instagram or Kato Gasai on like, I think YouTube and Twitter and everything else. My sweetie, my baby. I love you. This is sweet Katie who has been so supportive and loving. Um, she sent me like a big old freaking sweet package a while ago and is just always interacting, always commenting, always sending love. Support is also a freaking $10 rainbow babe tier. Like is just like, I owe you my soul and you look so cute, Katie. You know I love you. You know you're my wifey. Thank you so much for all your love and support always. You will always be very precious in my soul. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!